pointless Oscar dance number will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you the following episode of Almost Live. Yes, I wore this, wore this to the Oscar party, and then I walked home along Broadway. No one even batted an eye. It was just sort of, I was a moderating influence on Capitol Hill. People are like, hmm, whatever, you know. Anyway, actually, I look like my Auntie Flora, now that I look at this. Anyway, well, it's good to be back. As some of you may know, we uh, took a few weeks off recently. A lot of things happened during our time off. 520 Bridge nearly sank. The Seattle Sonics tanked and the Oscars stank. So that's basically why we're here. But perhaps the most interesting story happened this week. You might have seen this article in Tuesday's PI calling all chairs. You see this? Apparently two employees in the Seattle Police Department's identification unit fell off their chairs in the past month. So now the whole unit's been ordered to, and I quote, undergo a training session on how to safely sit in a chair. How to safely sit in a chair. And, I, you know, let's put it in perspective. It could be worse. In New York, the police are accidentally shooting civilians here. They're falling off chairs. I don't know. Either trigger happy or just sort of less agile. You make the call. I'm rather have the chairs, I guess. So now the police are taking chair sitting lessons. In a public relations move, the department videotaped part of those lessons. I think we have a copy of that videotape. Okay, I'd like to welcome you all to the seminar. Uh, if you'll take your seats, we'll get started. <laughs> yes, to protect and serve. Apparently there are a number of other seminars the police are looking into. If the, you know, sitting in the chairs without falling off works, and we certainly hope it does. Uh, and through our, you know, well-connected, incredibly well-connected network of sources, we've managed to obtain a partial list of these other seminars, including how to sit on a suspect without falling off, <laughs> how to have sex without falling off, <laughs> donuts, when is enough enough, <laughs> chewing without biting your cheek, how to do fingerprints without getting the ink on your ass, and finally, shooting your gun with the barrel pointed away toward the bad guy. <laughs> of the continuing education opportunities for our brave men and women in blue. So, a lot of those for them to look forward to. On the other hand, you can look forward to a great show because we like it when you keep your dial set right here on the good old Big Five. But in fairness, we also need to make you aware of some alternative television that is going to be soon available, probably on Kong. Take a look. Hello, my name is Gordon Bunyan. I am the creator and host of one of the boldest and most economical ideas in broadcast television. It is the lockdown, non-zooming, non-tilting, non-panning, one-camera TV talk show. Yes, using just a single camera with no camera person so it never moves, the home viewer sees almost as much as our studio audience does. It's so great to have you here, Mr. O'Neill. Can I call you Shaq? Senator Murray, what are some of the most important things you'd like to accomplish on Capitol Hill? We're talking to Ling and Lang, 
Siamese twins. Gentlemen, considering where you are joined, how do you, uh, you know, can you show us? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> do, do that face again. Mrs. Jenkins, you assumed that your daughter, Elizabeth, died 45 years ago. In fact, she did not. She is with us today. Let's bring her up. Your daughter, Elizabeth. Here she is. Wow. Here they are, reunited once again, the Beatles! And the Beatles! You found that 23% of all men say that... Oh! Oh my God! He is bursting the flames! He's burning! He's got to get some water on him! Oh, 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 that has got to be the greatest stupid pet trick I have ever seen. Can we see that again on slow-mo replay? <laughs> he is sleeping with your mother right now. I've got this pie here. I love pie. Let me have it. You heard what he said. So join me for the most exciting new show ever. The incredible... Russian plate spinners. <laughs> On the lockdown, non-zooming, non-tilting, non-panning, one-camera TV talk show. You dropped one. All right, stay with us. We have a great show, and we're coming right back. Well, I tell you what, um, I think everybody's probably here. Why don't we just sit down? Okay. okay. And um, welcome to our annual Block Watch meeting. And why don't we start by just, you know, introducing ourselves. Um, I'll, I'll start. I'm Sally, and this is my husband, Neil. And we've lived in this house for, gosh, 12 years. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Christy. I've lived at 1718 for five years. Uh, Janice, 1713, nine years. Bruce, 1717, six years. <laughs> oh, uh, my name is uh, t t t uh, Kendall. My name's Kendall. I, uh, I live on the uh, corner. Oh. <laughs> what, what corner? Uh, just the corner. The right corner? Sure, yeah, yeah, the right corner. But wait, isn't that where the Jenkins live? The right corner? Yeah. Oh, I mean the left corner. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm kind of dyslexic. <gasps> really? You know, so is our son. Yeah, yeah, I had to give up hang gliding lessons because I kept doing the exact opposite of what the teacher would say. So, yeah. Wait, wait, I thought yeah. dyslexia had to do with seeing words backwards. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the common one, but I have the rare kind. <laughs> I, I've never heard of a rare kind of dyslexia before, have you? Oh, oh, good. That would be the police. What? What the hell are the police doing here? Well, for the block watch meeting, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just stretching my legs. I'll just stretch them out here. Uh -huh. Stretch them. Okay. Excuse me. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Officer Pliny. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, not a problem at all, Officer. We were just uh, getting acquainted. Well, that's a good idea. You know, that's what you should do at these block watch meetings is get acquainted, and that way everybody is more comfortable. Actually, you know something? I am not real comfortable with this person. I'm dyslexic, Officer. Well, that's no problem. I'm going to go over everything on the handout here. You won't have to read a thing. Okay. Are there any questions to start with? Okay. Yeah. 
Um, are, are dogs good protection against burglaries? That's a good question. Oh, 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 oh. hell yes they are. <laughs> I can't tell you how many houses I've been to where I thought there was nobody home, right? So I go up to the front door just to make sure, and then like this dog just starts barking. It's like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> it's just like, there's no way that I'm gonna be going up there to <laughs> Seeing anybody rob that house. That's a very astute observation. Dogs are a very strong deterrent to burglars. Good job. Thanks, thanks. So, so who here has a dog, huh? Who's got a dog? Keep your hands up. <laughs> Look at that, taking notes. That's very good. You got a good neighbor here, folks. You're lucky. Next question. Uh, yeah, uh, what about burglar alarms? Do they make a difference? Well, they, they would give a potential burglar pause, surely, just like uh, using the club, you know, in a car. We'll uh, add 10 seconds or so to the time it would take a burglar to get in your car and get away with it. You're kidding. No. It only takes 10 seconds to cut through one of those things? Oh, max, yeah. I mean, an experienced thief with a good tool could do it even faster than that. Uh, and what kind of a tool would that be? <laughs> Well, just, you know, your regular bolt cutter. I mean, you could get them at an Eagle. Home. Lumberman's, maybe? Eagle. Home Depot? Sure, Home Depot. That is so cool! I mean, uh, it's really interesting, isn't it? It's really yeah. interesting. Anyway, uh, back to burglar alarms. They are a deterrent, but you got to remember that if the alarm goes off when you're not there and it's a false alarm, you're going to be charged 50 bucks by the police department. Oh, that is expensive, isn't it, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Say, maybe it would be a good idea to have a designated person like um, me uh, who would know everybody's security code so that if there was a false alarm, I can just stop it before the police come and it would save you 50 bucks. What do you say, huh? He does have a good point there. You know, uh, I don't think that's a good idea at all hey, uh, to get... You know, you may have 50 bucks to burn, but I sure don't. So it's agreed. Everybody with alarms, give me your security coats. Or we can just bring them by your house on the corner tomorrow. How about that? Uh, yeah, but it would probably be better to give them to me tonight, because what if, you know, tomorrow when you drop it by, I'm not home, and you decide to put it through the mail slot, and what, what if a burglar breaks in, and then he's got the list, right? And then it's just a disaster, and then... Hold on a second. You look very familiar to me. I don't know why I didn't spot it earlier. I like donuts and everything. Turn, turn this way. Okay, turn the other way. I want to see your other profile. Okay, now look straight at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? yes. What? 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 You look damn familiar to me, mister. Folks, you take the beard off this guy, and you have got yourself a dead ringer for that kid that played Urkel on Family Matters. Oh. Does, doesn't he look like a white Urkel? Oh, I'll be damned. Yeah. Doesn't he, though? Oh, you're right. Oh, you're isn't right. that uncanny? <laughs> that, that was a good show, yeah. wasn't it, oh, Family Matters? Oh, he was Matters. the best. Was he good? Excuse yeah. me. Hey, 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 while you guys are figuring this out, all right, I'm going to go down to my house on the corner, and I'm going to print up these security codes, okay? So why don't you guys just stay right here? Stay here, okay? Stay right here. I'll go get some cookies, too, okay? Bye-bye. Do you guys remember the episode when Urkel got his head stuck in the toilet? In the toilet! Oh! Report. Well, at the halftime of their game with the Washington Wizards this past Wednesday, the Seattle Sonics retired the jersey of former player Nate McMillan by hoisting it up into the rafters. Then, just for fun, they, hoist, they hoisted former player Jim McElvain up into the rafters as well. <laughs> He's still hanging there. He's up there. Mensa members from around the country met in Kent last weekend for a get-together called... <laughs> Mensa Mind Games. These are the smartest guys on the planet, and they chose to meet in Kent. 
Seattle is looking for architects to design a new city hall because the current city hall was built in the 60s from stock plans drawn up for a hospital in Texas. City hall employees say a new building is sorely needed, plus they're tired of always having to wear those stupid gowns where everyone can see your ass. <laughs> we'll be back with more of The Late Report after this commercial message. Sinn Féin, the political arm of the IRA, the Irish Republican Army, known for its use of terrorism to achieve its goals. Feng Shui, the Chinese art of placement that can help you decorate your house to achieve harmony in your life. Now you can experience the best that these two opposite worlds have to offer. Our experts know how to create a stimulating home environment and are determined to succeed at that mission, even over the objections of our valued customers. It's an exciting new home concept, blending universal harmony and strong-arm tactics that we call Shin Fein Feng Shui. And don't worry, if you're not totally satisfied, we will blow the whole damn place up and start all over again. Call Shin Fein Feng Shui today. Welcome back. Well, the city of Seattle ran an ad for, quote, five things you can do to save our salmon. Number four, stop eating them. <laughs> Northgate Mall is planning to expand and is expected to double its size in the next 15 years. Now, can you imagine something getting twice as big in just 15 years? <laughs> the... University of Washington's new football coach, Rick Neuheisel, said that he was shocked, shocked to find out a party he attended was hosted by mobster and sports racketeer Dominic Donny Shax Montemarano. Neuheisel said that in hindsight, he should have been suspicious when Donny asked him to help whack a guy and stuff him in the trunk of a Cadillac. <laughs> should have been the first tip-off there. Finally, the men's warehouse is entering the tuxedo rental business at its 12 stores here in western Washington. Question, will some guys going to their prom still look kind of dorky even though they're wearing perfectly tailored tuxedos? I guarantee it. <laughs> this has been The Late Report. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're still working on our beautiful New England home here, which we've painted blue with white trim. And right here, let's put a big bedroom window. A happy little window. Yeah. And next to it, let's put a, a smaller window, but not too small. It's a bathroom window. And it's still big enough that we can look right into it. Let me see. Someone getting into the shower there. She's about 19 or 20 years old. Blonde. Yes. She's in the shower, but it's got those glass doors so we can still look in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put her twin sister here, too. She's also just getting into the shower with her sister. But let's don't make her completely naked. Let's, let's put a little cap on her so she doesn't get her hair wet. Now they're both in the shower together. Yeah. 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 Let's say they're triplets. That's just about, I know, they're all upset that, I know the wig went away, but it's still a little bit, a little bit of rouge here on the, you know, just, just different than the normal pallor that I have around this time when I announced it. It's time to get tickets to, you call in right there. Remember the area code, which is so important these days, 206-421-5555. Then you can join, you can have just about as much fun as these people did. You had a lot of fun, didn't you? Yeah. 